We're here, it's finally grand opening day at Rose Tea Lounge. Finally. Finally. After like four months. Okay, um, so friends and family, um, on behalf of Anne and our management team, I would like to say thank you everyone for coming in here um, and celebrate this uh, special moment with us today. Yes. <laughs> especially, um, yeah, especially those of you that drove from Sacramento and Elk Grove. Thank you again. That's a lot of work. Right. So, um, yeah. Today is a really uh, special day for us. It's marked a new milestone for Rose um, and all of us at Rose over here because um, today we celebrate our grand opening the, of our first Bay Area store. And uh, yeah, it's been a little rough for us the last um, six months month to a year <laughs> ever since we decided to expand to the Bay. Um, so yeah, um, it has been like a uh, roller coaster for all of us. And um, we wouldn't make it here without you guys' help. So uh, first and foremost, I want to thank our mom, the one that always supports us since day one, yeah. unconditionally. <laughs> yeah, and then um, on uh, behalf of Anne, I would like to thank our management team right here. Um, yeah, those that uh, always put in the extra hour and always showed up whenever we need. Um, yeah, they never failed us a day for the last five years. So yeah, thanks to them. Uh -huh. And then all of our team over there. Uh, hi everyone. Yeah. Hi our sister Chia over there. Yes. Yes. A lot of work that they've been putting in today, one, two. And um, yes, yeah. And uh, at last, I also would like to thank our pretty friends over here um, especially John the one that helped us to connect with the logo over here when we first came and um, to spread our name to the logos thank you John thank you everyone thank you Jen thanks and Jasmine thank you thank you yeah yeah so it's, it's, it's a special moment for us yeah yeah thank you and um, on behalf of Anne once again and um, the whole entire management team we would like to thank you, you guys. Um, we would never make it here without you guys, okay? Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. Now we would like to ask our mom to cut the ribbon for us. We're gonna cut it right in front of the door, guys. And exactly at noon, look how busy the kitchen got as they were prepping orders for everyone's drinks. So here we have the owner, Daniel, cutting some fresh mangoes for us as he shows us the process of making his mango pomelo, one of his newer drinks. And here we got fresh pomelo, the coconut pudding, and there's the mango smoothie portion, and he's making it nice and pretty. And here we have the black sesame cloud. It is super nutty and rich in flavor. Next up we have their matcha marble. And I'll be honest, this is one of my favorite drinks of all times from Rosie Lounge. This is the first drink that made me fall in love with Rosie Lounge. And they use ceremonial grade matcha, which is high quality uh, matcha with bold flavors. And this is a really wonderful drink to have in the summer. It's refreshing. And to finish it off, we cannot forget about their milk tea session. And this is gonna be their jasmine milk tea with a layer of jasmine tea jelly at the bottom which is house made and I love their iridescent cups with smell the roses as they're cooked. What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode. My name is John Huynh and welcome back to another slice of my life. Today as you can see in the 
thumbnail as well as the title we're going to be talking about this place called rose tea lounge now if you guys do not know about rose tea lounge don't worry don't sweat it but i'm going to be starting off the bat by saying that rose tea lounge um right here rose tea lounge is by far my favorite boba shop in california as far as i know it so between northern california bay area and southern california this is my go-to boba shop and it has become my favorite place to get drinks now a little history about me and my relationship with boba <clears throat> boba milk tea bubble tea whatever you want to call it um it's something that i've always had ever since i was little i grew up in southern california in garden grove orange county <clears throat> and if you guys know anything about orange county garden grove westminster then you know that that is where tasty was born now i wouldn't say tasty was one of the first big bowl shops to pop up ever but it definitely was a huge deal for us living in southern california at the time uh in the early 2000s and besides uh going to tapu express or quickly tasty took the milk tea scene by a storm in southern california and it became like the number one place to get boba milk tea smoothies and all sorts of drinks and me as a young kid i would definitely frequent that establishment for the longest time and i still love tasty to this day for very specific drinks i wouldn't say tasty is the number one place to go to for everything um, and I would boldly make the claim, make the same claim for any other boba shop, whether it's TPT, um, Seven Leaves, and Rose Tea Lounge, and we'll get into that later on. But as far as it goes, Rose Tea Lounge is the first boba shop that wowed me, swept me off my feet, left me breathless the first time I've tried it. So. Let's go ahead and go into how I was introduced to Rose Tea Lounge. Now, back in 2021, I believe, and this was at the height of my food influencing, influencing career. Now, if you guys don't know, I was a huge food influencer back in the day. And, you know, I had my own food group. I started my Instagram page to help local businesses, um, to help them thrive and do better and market for them because during the pandemic, it was really hard for them. A lot of mom and pop shops, closed down because they were not able to pay the rent and such. So I started a food Instagram page in, I believe it was early 2020 um, or 2021, I forgot now. And um, I was super active and because there was nothing else better for me to do on the weekends, I had a lot of free time. I decided to go to Sacramento. So Sacramento was a place that I've never visited before in my entire life. Um, and I think I was 25, 26 at the time. For 25, 26 years, I had never visited Sacramento, so I had no idea what to do over there. And I had a friend who had just recently moved there from college, and he wanted me to come visit him. So I took the opportunity to visit my friend, but also explore and expand my horizon for the food scene. So I spoke with a small circle of Sacramento foodies or Elk Grove foodies um in that area and ask them for recommendations and at the time i remember roasty lounge was one of the places that was highly coveted and highly recommended uh, for me to visit and of course i did my research i knew it was the bubble shop and i had not low expectations per se but i had no expectations at all you know i went in thinking okay it's a bubble shop they have some really unique drinks that i don't see at other shops and I knew that I would probably like it because it's something that I've never had at any other places. For example, Tasty, Seven Leaves, etc., etc. And I remember the first day I came there, there was a bit of a line and it was kind of hot because Sacramento. And I think I waited maybe 30 to 45 minutes in line outside in the heat. And I finally got to the front door. I opened it up. I poked my head in and I was greeted with this huge area. It was probably one of the biggest bubble shops that I have ever been to. And inside was all black and it had a lot of accents of gold, had lots of lights. And I remember 
craning my head to the right and I saw this huge mural. I was trying to find a photo of the entire place in widescreen for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And immediately, as soon as I opened that door, my attitude kind of changed a lot and it kind of got me hyped up to the drinks for some reason. Uh, you know, after seeing such a spectacle with their interior design, I was already amped up to try their drinks. And of course, as people got their drinks and left, I could not help but notice people leaving with their cups. And um, I don't have the original cups anymore. I'm so sad I threw it away. I didn't think that they would change their cups, um, but I wish I kept the original cup. But, you know, I, I saw people leave with their cups. Uh, I'll try to find an old Instagram uh, post with their old cups so you guys can see but i remember just seeing how attractive their cups were and the drinks looked really nice the colors were vibrant very colorful and everything just looked so good and i was so overwhelmed by the amount of drinks and um i decided to get their matcha marble at the time and this is a blended matcha drink um and then they inside had this puff cream almost like omomo from irvine and you can see the puff cream spiraling around with a bunch of matcha powder on the outside and it was a blended drink which was good for the summer heat and i fell in love immediately that was the first drink i've ever gotten and i remember i think i ordered maybe one or two drinks and i tried my best to take pictures and then i posted on my story had so much fun and my mind and expectations were blown away and uh, I remember I messaged their Instagram page after I posted the story and tagged them and I was like, oh my god I just tried your matcha marble. I fell in love with the drink or whatever it is I said I'll probably get a screenshot or a screen recording of what I texted them But I told them that I wanted to come back the next day to redo my photo shoot because my first photo shoot I did not uh, Do a great job or I didn't try hard enough. So I wanted to give them the justice that they deserve and um yeah that's uh that's pretty much the first time i went to rosie lounge so i did come back the next day and i got a couple other drinks i asked the the owner and i didn't know it, it was the owner at the time but it was Anne, and i asked her for recommendations for another drink and i believe i went in and got that drink that she recommended and uh yeah i left and i remember as soon as i got back to the bay area I was dreaming about Rosie Lounge and I believe I made another trip if not the week after or a couple weeks after the first trip just because of Rosie Lounge. Now that's kind of crazy because you know it's a two hour drive each way and I remember doing it which is crazy so yeah that's kind of the little introduction introductory to me and Rosie Lounge and um, I remember my third time or something like that coming back I was talking to uh, Anne on um, Instagram and I was like you gotta bring this concept to the Bay Area I think your concept would be well received and I think the people here would love it as much as I did and I was kind of manifesting for that to happen and um, I think I uh, yeah I think I either said that the second time I visited or the third time but I think I only came back a third or fourth time um, on my own and then I hadn't gone back for I think maybe a year a year and a half and then um, I remember looking on Instagram and uh, their Instagram page hadn't been updated for like a year they stopped posting or something like that and then boom one day I saw that they posted a new post saying that they're opening their first location in the barrier in Fremont and I was freaking dying inside because my manifestation came into reality and that's how we are here today talking about their grand opening that just happened last weekend uh, for me and um, yeah which is freaking crazy because Rosie Lounge is right here, only 25 minutes away from me now, which is insane. And uh, yeah, I've come to be really close with the owners, Anne and Daniel. 
So I met Daniel for the first time, which is Anne's partner. So I met Daniel for the first time after uh, Roasty Lounge and Fremont opened up. And um, that's how we met and became really good friends. And now uh, me, Anne, and Daniel hang out sometimes. And uh, that's where we are today. So now I get some drinks sometimes from them. And then I get invited to these VIP media parties. Check out this awesome iridescent color bags. I really love the color uh, choices that they chose. Um, we got this iridescent colored tumbler right here. And then I also got a hat from them. It says Roasty Lounge on the side. And uh, yeah, that's just really sweet. And then of course their t-shirts and um, yeah. And then I guess I just want to talk about their cups. So these are their two newest cups that you can get now in 2023. So this one comes in most uh, drinks. The iridescent cup will only come in uh, pure teas and milk teas just to give it a little um, something special. And I really do like the iridescent cups, not only because the color changes depending on what uh, type of liquid color is in here, but also on the back, it says stop and smell the roses. And I think that's really, really good. I um, really love the message behind uh, this quote right here that Daniel put on his cup. And it's just essentially telling people to, you know, take it slower because we live in such a fast paced uh, environment or time nowadays that sometimes we forget to cherish the little important things. So yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to cover for Rose Tea Lounge at this moment. If you guys are from the Bay Area and you guys haven't had the chance to try Rose Tea Lounge yet, I implore you guys to try it. Um, it's not often that I support and um, yeah, I guess support a local business in this kind of capacity. Of course, there will always be places that I love vi revisiting, places that I always recommend to people. But Rosey Lounge is definitely an uh, establishment that is near and dear to me, to my heart. Not only because their product is really good and I firmly believe that their product can sell, um, but I also appreciate uh, the owners and the way that they run their business, local, they're Vietnamese, um, and they're just super friendly and down to earth if you get to really know them. And they, you know, really respect their customers. They always make sure that everyone leaves happy. They have a really, really good drink policy. If there's anything wrong with your drink, if you don't like your drink, then they will always make sure to guarantee to fix it or help you find a alternative to make sure that you leave happy with every cup that they serve. And you know, just being closer to Daniel and Anne and actually learning about how they do their research, what are they, um, how passionate they are about their quality, where they get their um, product from, where they get the ingredients from, everything that they everything that they do, they do with a lot of passion and love for the product, so that people like me, people like you, people um, in the influencing or food influencing community can enjoy and you know actually rave about it, um, you know, because it's actually really rare for you know a lot of businesses to actually care and put a lot of passion into you know, a drink, you know, it's, you know, there's so many shortcuts out there for syrups, powders, you name it. There's so many shortcuts. A lot of shops, they like to take these shortcuts to cut time, to cut costs. But at Roasty Lounge, they put a lot of effort into their product. They get the highest quality and they are super, super uh, strict about what leaves their kitchen. So um, that just shows a lot of passion and love for the product that they sell and serve to you guys and they put a lot of work into it and I can really see that from the inside um, now that I've become really close family friends with them um, and that's something that I kind of want to push out for more people to see and understand um, because that's not something that they're doing a lot right now themselves they're a little bit more uh, mysterious they like to you know stay in the shadows they don't really like to promote uh, too much about themselves and about their product so yeah so that's gonna go ahead and, and wrap up my spiel about Rose Tea Lounge make sure you guys try it out I honestly firmly believe that they have a really good product and uh, yeah hope to see uh, and hear more about their growth 
and as well as more people who enjoy their product. See you guys later. Bye.